So from here. Okay, so what Pete's doing is he's breaking the grip run, rolling over the wrist. He then strikes with an elbow to soften him up, whips the head down, knee, knee. That'll kind of ruin anyone's day. He gets the choke, and it takes between 8 and 10 seconds to choke most people out. Okay, so it's a great equalizer. One more time, let's do please. Okay, excellent. All right, Will. Will's going to look at someone grabbing your wrist, maybe you are just a surprise attack. From here, he's going to whip his arm around, break the grip, and keep it real simple with the multiple punch scenario. One more time, slowly. Just if I can point something out. If someone, if someone grabbed you like this, pulling it back without, the idea is to defeat the force, not pull away from it, it's to step to the side and break it from the side where there isn't any real force. So that's what Will's doing. Okay, circles the arm, breaks the grip, and then multiple attacks from there. And if that's enough time for you to get away, then that's a good technique. One more time instead. And courtesy, well done. Side kick, one, two, three. So there's a striking option. Again, slowly. Break the grip. Front kick, side kick, chase them down with punches. One more time at speed, please. Okay, this time we're going to look at that option. Slightly different version. There's this grip to the wrist. Clear, clear, and bang. One more time, slowly. Break the grip. Triple punch and then break the base, take the leg out. One more time at speed, please. Excellent, thank you very much, guys. So, okay, so what he's doing here, again, he's grabbing the wrist, he's breaking it down, but he's stepping in, not away. Takes the leg out from under him and breaks the ankle with an ankle lock. One more time, please. Yeah, good. That's what these guys like all the time. Not even during the demos. Alright, courtesy. Here's uh, Big John's turn. So, before he attacks him, you've got to ask That's why the man's there. Alright, here we go one more time slowly. He steps around his front leg, picks up his knees. Drive the ground, and obviously you might not have the strength to do that to someone. You don't need to pick him up, he likes to get air time. You can't just, you can't just grab the guy's knees and bump into him and he falls over and get the same result. But this looks much better. Okay. One more time. Alright, who needs to go to the arm? 